Hello, in today's video I will show you how to use uh, touch faces uh, of your uh, screen, of your mobile device. So, for example, when you touch the screen, the, the object will be created. If you swipe through the screen, the, the color of the object will be turned to green. If you keep uh, your uh, finger in one place, uh, so it means it will be stationary, it will turn red. And if you let go your finger, the game object will be destroyed. So if you are going to like today's video, please do not hesitate to press the like button and to subscribe to my channel. So before we are going to start coding, uh, first let's make sure that you have installed everything what is needed for Unity. So first go to your Unity Hub. Uh, when you are going to installs, uh, please check add modules and check if you have at least Android build support installed. If not, you can do it some like I do it for iOS support, just press this icon press install and the second thing you need to do is go to your file build settings and here you have to switch for Android and press build okay that way you will be able to follow these tutorial steps so we have prepared empty scene and now let's uh, create empty game object let's call it controller and let's also add to the object sprite let's create circle maybe let's make it bigger two by two and let's make prefab from the circle to do that you just need to press your left mouse button and move it to your files folders okay let's remove this one from the scene and let's attach our touch input script this touch input script is empty inside so now we are going to create our script so let's detect if our screen was touched First, what we need to do is to remove this uh, start function. We will not use it in this tutorial. In update function, let's write if input that touch count is larger than zero, then let's do our line here. So what this will do, this will only check if any touches to our screen was detected. So let's write debug that lock and let's write screen screen touch so if everything is fine with uh, how we configured our scene uh, now when we press play or oh, before we press play uh, please change here to the simulator you can choose here on which device you would like to simulate your scene but let's press play and if I will press on the screen, as you can see here, I'm getting debug logs that our screen was touched. So yeah, it works. So let's get back to our code. And uh, for checking the touch faces, I will be using switch case statement. Uh, I've already created movie about switch case. Uh, so it will be linked on the top right corner, also in the video description. So let's write touch touch is equal to input that get touch zero and now we can construct our switch case statement using this touch reference so let's write switch switch from the touch dot face and as you remember from my previous tutorial, let's write case from touch face. Uh, sorry, touch uh, touch face that began. And let's write break here. Uh, here between we put our instruction, as you probably rem remember. But let's prepare our all our cases for this tutorial. So now let's write case that is began. Okay, not began. Here let's put moved. This one will be stationary. And here let's write ended. And that. Okay. So this will be called when we when first touch is detected to our screen this will be detected when we swipe our finger through our screen 
this will be detected when we ta first touch and keep press the screen without moving and this and that will be detected when we uh, take our finger from the screen okay so for the tutorial purposes um, let's uh, for our instantiation of our object uh, we instantiate object uh, when we begin to touch the screen so for that purposes we need to detect where we touch the screen so let's, let's write vector tree touch position let's and uh, we'll get touch position from the screen but to we'll get this touch position in pixel coordinates and you would like to um, convert it to the word position so in ex xy position so to do that we need to call the function camera dot main dot screen to word point and let's go and let's write here touch touch that position okay so this vector will really have uh, sorry here this vector will get touch position from this first touch uh, which was detected but in addition because it's vector tree we need to add touch position for z let's write touch position dot z be equal to zero okay and it's float value okay so now what we would like to do is to spawn our game object uh, so yes so we spawn our circle when we begin to touch the screen uh, to do that let's um, create one more thing so we need also a reference for our object to spawn so let's write public public game game object object to spawn so here will be reference for our prefab if you would like to operate on the copy of this game object so let's make it also private game object and let's call it game object okay so here we just write game object and we, to create our game object we will we will use instantiate function so let's write insta instantiate and we instantiate based on object to spawn i will show you which object it will how to how to connect this object in a second let's spawn it into in the on the touch position okay so we are spawning our chosen object on our touch position which we have here and we need to get um, also we need to input rotation of this object but we we'll do this based on the object to spawn that tra transfer that position so we take current rotation uh, sorry rotation so you get the current rotation of our game object and now to make it work uh, let's go back to unity and here on our script as you can see here we have empty uh, object to spawn so now we'll use our prefab let's put it here and let's press play and let's check what will happen okay so our uh, everything is working now if we press play we spawn game object in the position we've touched okay. uh, so what we are referencing is prefab and what we are working on is clone which is created on our scene as you can see here yeah, so we are creating the clones of our prefab using instantiate function okay let's go back to our code now to make it more interesting i would like to be able to move uh, our um, game object when we touch so let's write, write game object that transform that position will be equal to touch position okay so let's press save 
let's go back to Unity and let's test our function. So let me press play and I will press on the screen. I will not let it go. So I'm holding still the button pressed. As you can see here, I can move our created object. If I let it go, it stays. If I press again and I will move, I can move my object until I will release the left mouse button. So let's use now the function ended. So what function ended we would like to do when we end touching our screen, we would like to destroy our game object. So let's write destroy and we can destroy our game object clone. Let's save it. Let's go back to Unity for testing. Let's press play. And I press my left mouse button. I move uh, the circle. I let it go. So it's destroyed and disappears from the stand. You can see it on the left here. OK. So last uh, example is the stationary. And for that, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So when we move, I would like to change our color to green. Okay, so let's make it transform. Uh, sorry, not transform. Let's uh, let's reference on our clone get component a component function. We reference sprite renderer. So what we'll be referencing here, we need to, when you check our prefab, we need to get this component in our prefab and we need to reference the color. Okay. So we are referencing sprite renderer and color, color inside the sprite renderer. renderer sorry. <clears throat> so now we would like to change the color to green. Okay. And when the movement is stationary, we would like to change it to red. Okay. And let's press save. And let's test our function. Let's press play. So ah, I've created object. And as you can see here, when it's stationary, it's red. When I start to move, it turns green. It gets back to stationary again. Yeah, it moves when I move it's green, red, and if I let it go, it's destroyed. So that's how our three uh, so that's how our touch phases works. Uh, and that's how you can easily control them. So here you can write your functions depending on what you would like to do. As I said, this will be called when you first touch the screen, this will be called when you move this uh, move your finger to the screen. This will be called when you hold your finger in one place on your skin, and that will be called when your touch is ended. So that's all for today's video. If you like today's video, please do not hesitate to press the like button and to subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day. I, I hope that I managed to help you somehow in your journey to create games. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.